So iPadOS 26 has brought a whole new way to manage Windows on all the iPad models. For iPad Pro, you get a whole lot of options, especially when connecting to a secondary display. It's like having a full-on Mac experience when it comes to controlling your Windows. You can open as many windows as you want, position them how you want, you can minimize them and close them all together. And even with the base A16 iPad, you can open a crazy amount of windows, but you are missing that old slide overview with that traditional split screen screen capability. Or are you? Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and I've been using iPad OS 26 for about two weeks now, and I've been testing it out on all my iPads, and I've been putting it into my workflow for project management and for teaching. And I absolutely love these new features. I think my iPad Pro has gotten that much better, and so has my A16. But a lot of people are complaining about how the traditional split screen view and slide over are now gone. So you've got all these windowing options in the settings, but the the old traditional ways are no more. But is it a big deal? Shouldn't these new controls give a better experience than the old ways of that split screen and slide over situation? Well, that's what I want to dive into today. I want to show you a few different ways where you can control your windows and see if you can get that slide over feel without actually having the slide over option. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about managing your windows with just the touch controls. Now, in the old days, you used to have to pull apps from the dock to get that traditional split screen view so you would have an app open then you drag another app from your dock to open a second window and they would be side by side and then you could have a third application up with slide over and you could simply flick your finger and that app would go away well now you have three different modes in settings you have the old traditional view minus that split screen slide over situation so you can look at apps one at a time and flick through them with the multi-touch gestures and as far as that goes that works pretty much the same and a lot of people are used to working with their iPad like that, so they don't want that to go away. And this single window option does not allow for slide over or split screen view. There's one app at a time and that's it. Now with the new windowing mode, you absolutely can set up windows side by side. And I think the easiest way to do this when you're using touch controls is to just flick the window to the left or to the right and they set up automatically. And what's interesting is, is there's actually still that slide bar in the middle when you set up two apps like this. So you can actually use it to slide left or right and it will resize both windows automatically so you can make one larger and the other smaller and that's exactly how the split screen option used to work so you still have that I don't know if they put that in the patch recently so they've come out with round two of the iPad OS 26 beta and I don't remember seeing that before but it's definitely in there now it does not appear if you have multiple windows open though so you just have to have two windows side by side and then you'll get that option but let's say you want to open a third window and have that slide over type option option. You absolutely can do that. Just make sure your windows are up a little bit so that your dock is displayed. Then you can open up a third window and you can resize it to be just like the slide over size where it was very minimalistic. If you want it to go away, instead of flicking it, you can just tap the three dots in the corner and actually minimize the app. And if you want it to come back, you just touch it on the dock and it comes right back in the same size and space that you left it. And that's pretty much what slide over was, right? I mean, yes, it is a couple taps now instead of a quick swipe, but I think you're pretty much getting the same functionality. The touch gestures are just a little bit different. I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments if that's good enough or you're like, no, it's got to be slide over. I want to be able to flick it to the left, tech dad. Okay, so now let's talk about window control when you actually connect your iPad to a keyboard and especially when you connect it to a secondary display. So now you're not using your iPad like a real tablet anymore. You're actually using it a whole lot more like a computer and you're getting that Mac feel. And so you're going to control Control your windows with your mouse pointer a lot more and when you press and hold on the three buttons in the left you get lots of options on how you want to set up your windows that works with touch controls as well but again you're setting up your windows differently when you use that external display you've got a whole lot more screen real estate a whole lot more space to work with and so you're just going to use windowing differently you also have two screens now instead of one and I like to set up one application on my iPad such as maybe teams when I'm running a teams meeting and set up maybe a browser or a PowerPoint on my larger screen Screen. just depends on what I'm doing. So is slide over really necessary when you're using your iPad like this? In fact, when you have applications on the secondary display, you can't use touch to move them around. So slide over really becomes pointless because you're not gonna have that functionality anyway. So I think with iPad OS 26 and the idea Apple is going for with these new windowing options is to make it more like a Mac, especially when you're connecting it to the secondary display. But I feel like that Apple has still given enough room to give you that slide over and split 
split screen view like you want. It's just a little bit different and may require a little bit different gestures. So I'm gonna keep playing around with iPad OS. I've really been enjoying it. I think it's so much fun. I'm looking forward to the patches as they fix the bugs. I'm also looking forward to when third party apps are gonna start introducing more options into the menu bar. I think that's gonna make it a whole lot better. I'm gonna be on a two week hiatus now. I've got some vacation time coming up so I won't be making any content but look for some in the middle of July. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.